Hi everyone, I'm going to make some ATCs. Um, I've organized all my things. I've got too many scraps and too many leftovers, so I'm on a mission to use them all. I've taken uh, to make the ATCs two cardboards and already um, drawn the measurements for the ATCs that is uh, two and a half inch by a uh, three and a half inch uh, for those who doesn't know uh, I, I'm doing this kind of uh, thing so it's easier uh, when I'm finished to cut them and see what I have now I'm going to connect uh, these two uh, cardboards uh, for now with the masking tape and I'm going to flip them over I'm going to work on this uh, side of the cardboards now you can use whatever uh, uh, paper you have and even if it's from a shoebox or if you've got uh, 12 by 12 but uh, they are not uh, firm enough you can always uh, glue them back to back and do whatever you want on them for your ATCs or whatever and I have here a uh, paper towels that were uh, used to wipe up paint they are not even uh, ones that I've sprayed intentionally and I'm going to tear them up uh, to pieces and start gluing them I'm using a uh, white glue not watered down just white uh, plain uh, a white glue and I'm going to go all around and just glue down pieces of this uh, paper towels no uh, I'm not thinking about it I don't care I just want a really a colorful uh, background and I want to use what I have And it's quite nice uh, to just put down pieces without thinking too much about it. I'm going a little bit outside of the um, cardboard and when it will be dry I'll uh, just uh, trim the excess. I'm doing this technique uh, also with the uh, scraps and uh, leftovers of painty papers. I've done this on uh, file folders, on uh, notebooks, and also on canvases when I wanted to uh, have some colorful uh, background. It's a nice space uh, to work on. You can also just go and do something like this. You don't have to continue from where you left off. Just put the pieces down and whatever comes out, <laughs> that's fine. I'm also overlapping them because it, uh, to, to me it's more interesting that way. They, ha they have a little bit of transparency, not like uh, paper napkins because they are thicker than the uh, paper napkins, but still they, it's interesting when they overlap, you get more uh, colors. In, in between and I 
try to use uh, the straight edges uh, on from my paper towels on the straight edges here it's just uh, easier that way like the here I have a corner so I'll just use it here Okay, so I'm going to uh, continue gluing down pieces and I'll be back because it's boring to see me glue piece by piece. So I'll be back. I'm back. So I've uh, finished covering um, the piece with the, all the leftovers and it's mostly dry and I've trimmed around the edges. Now I want to add some uh, stamps uh, to the background uh, I've got here a stamp from fun foam that uh, I made and I'm going with the two colors that are already uh, on the background because the stamping is going to add to the background I don't want to introduce uh, at this time uh, more colors it it needs to add to the background but not uh, dominate it Okay, so that's uh, for this color. Let's see, maybe this one, I haven't used it yet. Oops. This was made also from craft foam and it was just uh, leftover pieces from something else I've uh, cut. And I've just arranged them to <laughs> this uh, abstract uh, shape I've already made a several videos uh, about frugal crafting and about stamps and stencils that you can make uh, on your own you don't need anything but it of course it's lovely and I have got lots of stamps that I've bought but uh, it also fun sometimes to just make your own like and this was like only left of us from something else so it's kind of nice that <laughs> I have a unique uh, stamp that nobody has. I'm trying to put uh, this color where I have dark areas. So it will uh, bring down the dark areas and also will be more uh, you can see it uh, more on the page if I'm I hope <laughs> I'm making myself uh, understood
I've just glued the uh, pieces of foam foam to a cardboard. Again, everything is leftovers. Okay, uh, I think that's quite enough with the, this stamping and I will dry this and come back. I'm back. So, I just want to add uh, something more to the background and I've taken a dots a stamp and I'm just going around and adding a little bit in several places just to add more interest okay so that's what we have now I'm going to flip it over take out uh, the masking tape that I've uh, put and now I'm going to cut my ATCs That's why I've uh, drawn them on the back, so it will be easier. I'm also cutting here because I've glued pieces uh, that are on both sides of these uh, two cardboards. When I finish uh, the the ATCs from uh, um, <laughs> from here, then I'll uh, do something to the uh, on the back. But uh, right now it doesn't. Uh, it's not urgent to do this. Uh -oh. So here we go and I'm going to finish cutting all the pieces and I'll come back. I'm back. So as you can see I've cut them all. I've got uh, lots of uh, ATCs with the break, uh, background they already made and now I just need to decorate them. And this is the time where you uh, take all your embellishments, focal points, uh, laces, ribbons, washi tape, whatever you want and uh, you go and uh, decorate each ATC. As you can, here is my box with uh, all the kinds of embellishments and, uh, and sayings and uh, anything that can go on uh, uh, on this ATCs like this uh, clock that is really going well with this with the colors on the in the background 
so I'm thinking of putting it here and now I just have to play with what I have and I'll be back when I have several that are already made but basically that was how you make a lot of ATCs with a ve with very unique uh, background uh, for each one so I'll be back I'm back so I've done three just so you can see what I, uh, I've done I'm going to bring it close to the uh, camera here is the background that I've made and another one and another one and I still have got all this to work on so this is it for now I hope you've enjoyed it and that's it bye